Hello. Hello, everybody. We're <laughs> back at you again with a new video. Now, Stephanie's back home. So, we can bring you another video. I know last week I was I did one all by myself. And, um... If you haven't checked it out yet, please check it out. Um... And uh, please check it. If you haven't seen it yet, please check it out and see our other videos that I'm I'm in or me and Stephanie are in. And um and what we have for you today is we just hope that this government shutdown will end soon so everybody can go back to work and Everybody can go back to work. It's uh, coming tomorrow will be on its 15th day. And I think um, Trump is trying to win a new world record of it being the most. I think the most was 21, 21 days. But I think in the 90s, there was one time where it was like 96 days. But I wasn't really old enough to... to comprehend that so I don't really know but but his threats of it can go for months and years is outlandish I don't think he's going to he'll by the time it's over he'll be out of office already but they are trying to work now they're trying to work on impeaching him so we'll see how that goes and they should stop wasting time on this impeachment nonsense and get that shut down taken care of get the negotiation taken care of, and, and then worry about it. I know, but they're trying to see whichever will happen first. But I don't know. They're trying all their avenues. Yeah. So, in the article we have today, and this will be a short video because it's a short article, so I don't want to combine too many articles into one video so that you guys don't get overwhelmed. So in this little short article, about like barely less than a page, um, a stranger helped a five-year-old fly back to America, and then they found each other 15 years later. Maya Hughes and her mom kept wondering, wondering who was the complete stranger who helped them. He turned out to be a former Virginia congressman, Tom Perillo. See? Just because your government office doesn't mean you don't have a kind bone in your heart, in your butt. See, he was kind enough to help a little girl. That's good. In a virtual Twitter thread Wednesday, Maya Hughes, a 20-year-old college student in California, revealed a wild story. In a desperate ordeal when she was five years old, a kind stranger helped her fly back to the U.S. from Sierra Leone. So in 2003, I was five years old, and my mom decided out of thin air one day that we were going to Africa, and we were going to stay there for six months. So about four months in something, and something OC happened that I won't go into detail about. And long story short, I had to leave ASAP. Well, you always know what goes on in Africa. You never know what's going to happen in Africa, so you have to be prepared, you know? Because <laughs> it may be nice to go there on vacation, and then they have some of their own problems, and then, of course, you have to leave. My mom has been trying to find this man for 15 years. We never got his name or anything. So, like, a week ago, my mom found him through a family member who actually worked with him, and she said, and she said he matched the description and everything. It was a life and death type situation, so my mom had to get me out, but she couldn't come with me. So she had to find someone ASAP in the airport to bring me back to America, Hughes wrote. She continued that some she continued that someone agreed to accompany her to the US, even though my mom didn't know this man at all whatsoever. And he even tried to sing in Creole, Sierra Leonean Creole, for the screaming, crying five year old he had only met two seconds ago to calm her. Of course, you're five years old. You're scared that, you, that your mom or family member is not with you and 
You're flying... Flying with some random stranger. Of course, the mother probably just said her prayers and looked like, you know, may God be with you. Yeah. I imagine it'd be, sc it'd be scary for a mom, too, to just send your kid off with somebody. <laughs> yeah. Through an unexpected chain of events, 15 years later, she and her mom finally found out who the man was. Tom Periello, who went on to become a Virginia congressman and Democratic gubernatorial candidate. He confirmed the contours of the story on Twitter on Thursday, even that he sang to Hughes and Creo, albeit acknowledging that he is singing, his singing was tone deaf. <laughs> well, he was trying whatever he could to calm the kid down, you know. I mean, I, my singing is awful. You can attest to that. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think instead of my lullabies helping my kid, I bet my mom's going to say, my mom's going to say, I bet you're just going to make the kid cry more. Just put on that tape and let it play in the background. I mean, you know, just, just put on just put on some music coming out of the YouTubes and <laughs> they'll lull themselves to sleep better than any of your singing can ever do. Well, your voice is still important to a baby, even if it's well, a bad you singing. Talk to them. You can still talk to them, but if you want to lull them to sleep and you're tone deaf, maybe that's not the best way to go. That's true. <laughs> One of the craziest experiences in my entire life is now a Twitter thread, and I could not be happier to know you were shining bright. So in 2000, and that was said by Tom Periello. And Maya says, in 2003, I was five years old, and my mom decided out of, oh yeah, I already commented that, oh yeah. Well, yeah, so they went to Africa, Sierra Leone, and then they had, she had to leave back to America ASAP. And yeah, it was a bit impulsive, but lots of people go on vacation impulsively. And just thanks to this kind man, he helped her get back. And 15 years later, they were able to track him and say thank you. And she got to really meet him and know who he was and thank him. And you see, just, be, just because you're in government office doesn't mean you're bad. You still have a good bone in your heart and you can still help, help people, you know? You can't just, ex I mean, now everybody thinks that you can't leave your kid with anybody because everybody's bad. And I understand that you think that now because we can't even sit in our front yard without parents being scared that someone will abduct their kid. And when I was in the 90s, I was growing up, my parents never told me stay in the house until we got home. I would go across the street, visit my neighbor, visit my neighbor up the hill. You know, they weren't, they weren't worried because I stayed in their house. Not like I was riding in a car with them to go somewhere. When I turned 12 years old, then they allowed me to take rides with my neighbor when she would go to the park or park to walk the dog or she'd go to the grocery store, you know. I could tag along. And when I was younger, when I was younger, like eight, she let me walk around the seven or eight, she let me walk around the block with my neighbor. Well, that's when I moved here to Los Altos, but she let me walk around the block with her and her dog, so no big deal, you know. Yes, so back in the 90s, we still we knew our neighbors. People weren't uh, so mobile that we didn't know our no know our neighbors. I mean, I'm yeah, now not everybody knows their neighbors because they don't go, like, meet their neighbor anymore. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. So... This concludes this video, and I hope you have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, and we'll talk to you later. And Stephanie's been working currently on uh, a glove because it's really cold over here, and the gl I'm, my nails are breaking through my work glove, so I'm going to try to make something to replace it because <laughs> it's cold. Okay. Uh, hopefully it works, and... Just don't get chlorine on your gloves. Right. They're going to hide in the, the giant rubber gloves because yeah, you, you well, can't. Yeah, as long as you don't get any chemicals on it because it's hard to clean those things. Yep. Chew a hole right through it, that chlorine will. <laughs> yeah, those, those chemicals are harsh. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching.
Bye. And <laughs> click to like this video. Click to check out our links down below and subscribe and watch. Subscribe and watch the video and comment.